welcome, welcome. Yeah, you. Welcome, you, 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 and you. Okay, so I was on here earlier, and now I'm going to be doing um, scroll saw. I'm going to do a little bunny. You need your PPE, your personal protective equipment. You need a mask, and it's very dirty because you can't get any right now. I do need to sew some, but I just haven't had time. So you need a mask, and then you need glasses. Instead of safety glasses, I'm going to be wearing my readers just so I can see better. And then you need your muffs, and I'll show you. Good luck, eh? Yeah, so I'll show you the scroll saw. Mine is very old. It's an old Delta. It's very rusty and old, and the blades are old and rusty, but you know what? I'm going to keep using them until they break, and that's what we're going to do. Hey, Kim. Good luck, eh, Kim? <laughs> so it's going to get loud. Um, don't worry about the blade don't worry about as long as you don't put your finger in the way of the blade you're fine um there's a little dust blower here which it probably won't do very much but if you push that and make it blow at your board a bit but it probably won't do too much it's probably full of dust and like i said you don't need the newest latest greatest machine use what you got some of these old machines work better than the new ones out they don't break as quick. So I'm gonna cut out a quick bunny. I traced it, or I didn't trace it, I drew it. I drew one side on a piece of palette. It's a tongue and groove uh, one by four. The mask is a new fade. I know, right? I'm right in style. So this, I drew out half a bunny. And then I've got another piece of wood and I'm gonna, flip it and trace it out on this piece of wood and this is cedar um, and so let's get started so you just turn it on here and you start cutting um, if it's too long It'll hit the back, I'll show you. If it's too long, it'll hit the back of this. So I'm just gonna do a relief cut right here. Uh, you can see that okay, right? Yeah, I think that's better. So, uh... There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's better. So I'm just going to do a release cut. I'm going to go in. I'm going to come back out. So when I cut along this bunny's ear, it'll fall out. kind of hold it down and you follow the line but unfortunately I don't have a line there I stopped drawing for some reason but I kind of know where I want this to go
I just took it out. I wanted to show you, when I did this curve, the blade had a hard time doing that tight curve. So I just let off the pressure and backed up the blade up to here, backed it up, and then just slowly went around. And so if you're coming into a tight curve like this, you just back up your blade a bit. I'm coming into a tight curve. I'm gonna back up my blade a bit and then make the turn. If I need to, I didn't need to, but I could have backed up my blade again. But it made the turn no problem. And I'm putting some pressure on this. I don't really care. This is an old rusty blade. And I don't really care if it uh I don't really care if it breaks. Like, I, I'm using up my supplies. I'm not going to buy new stuff. And I'm just using it. And then I'm gonna be coming up to a curve again for the head. You guys can see okay, right? Yeah. You can see okay, so I'm gonna come up again up here on a curve. I'm gonna back up the blade. Right here, I'm gonna let the pressure off. I'm gonna back it up a bit and make the curve. Okay, so that's half the bunny. Try to zoom you back out. Thank you for the tip. I'm still trying to master the, my scroll saw. Yeah, so what you can do is, okay, that actual curve in there, it's actually pretty good. I just backed off the blade and I just kept backing off and then turning, backing off and turning so that uh, so that I could make that curve but you can also make a stop cut you could come in and cut this and then cut this and when you when the when the cuts hit it'll fall out but I like this better I like this look better and I like when I can do that curve like you can see it's pretty good like it's it's pretty good if you back it off and like I said, I don't really care if I break this, uh, I don't really care if I break these blades. They're very rusty and old. And hey, I have new ones and I'm gonna break them, I don't care. So this is half of the bunny. And then this is gonna be the other half. So I'm gonna trace this out and cut it. I just. I just drew this on. You can see where I kind of, well, you can see where I drew it on and stuff. But I'm, I'm going to use this half and just trace it on so then I have a matching half. And I have to make sure that 
I remember my tongue and groove has to be on this side so that they fit together. I'm just using up some old scrap pieces I have laying around. And uh, so I'm going to trace this on. And then I'm really excited. So I'm going to paint that. Actually, you know, you love it. Thank you. It looks awesome. Yay. And can't wait to see it done. Good. I'm going to do something really different. Like, why not? So tomorrow, or maybe even tonight, I don't know yet, but I'm going to take some Venetian plaster. I bought a big can of it. And like I said, I'm going to start using up my supplies. So I have a big can of Venetian plaster and I'm going to put some plaster on here. I'm going to I'm going to um, put some plaster on here. I could paint it with flowers and stuff, but I'm going to make a pom-pom. I'm going to put a pom-pom on it, and I'm going to take my Venetian plaster, and I'm going to get a real cool stencil, maybe a floral or something, and use my plaster and give it some texture. So it's going to be really, really cute. I think it's going to be really nice. And so that's my plan for that. And then, I don't know if you saw me, I shared a post this week, and I, um, it was just, it was just a real easy X and, an, X and O's game. Um, Nancy Alexander ordered two, so thank you very much, Nancy. Um, she saw me posting that, and she ordered two, she private messaged me, and I'm very excited. I've got these, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Yeah, it's poplar. And it's a, it's a cookie. It's a wood cookie. So I'm going to do a really cool, it's going to have an X and O game. And then I've got a pocket full of rocks, like literally. <laughs> I've got rocks in my pocket. And I'm going to paint some stones and I'm going to do a real cute little X and O game on here. Um, she ordered two, so I have two cookies. And they're beautiful. And that's going to be another project. Um, I'm either going to do that tomorrow morning or tonight. I just, I'm very motivated. I'm just excited about all this stuff. So, right now, I'm going to trace this on. Like I said, i got to get it right. I have to, so this is the front. And it's going to fit together. So I'm going to trace this onto here. I'm going to flip it. And... I'm going to trace it and then I will cut that one and I hope you guys like these videos I hope I hope you guys are finding them see I plugged in my mic can't wait to see it done I plugged in my mic and I always forget to tr I always forget to wear it so I'm just gonna trace this on I'm gonna put on my readers so I can see better you guys can see that a bit and I'm just gonna trace it and you know what it doesn't have to be perfect it's not a straight line if I wanted it perfect I would have just bought a plastic one like if it's not it needs to be handmade it's not uh, let go of that perfection and I really believe in progress before perfection I really truly believe in in getting it done and letting go once you can let go when you can let go of that perfection and you can let go of that crap in your head oh my gosh the sky's the limit every every oops is an outstanding opportunity presenting itself go for it okay so here's my ppe again got my mask on is it upside down Nope. Got my mask, got my glasses, got my headphones. Okay, here I go. Okay, I'm coming up to the corner. I'm backing it off a bit. I'm going to make the turn. You guys can't see very good, but I make the turn. I'm just 
going to zoom you in. There we go. I think you can see that pretty good. Turn your back on. Yeah, it's a pretty look, isn't it, Kim? <laughs> I hope you mean the bunny and not my PPE. You gotta hold it down or you'll get a lot of chatter on the blade. So you just hold it. And I am putting some pressure on it because I said this is a rusty old blade. That's been sitting in here for years. And don't be afraid if it breaks, it's gonna break. It's gonna make a loud noise and it's gonna break in half. But that's okay, because my fingers are not in the path of the blade. I'm keeping my fingers really far away. So it's not gonna hurt me. A lot of these machines are just the noise that scares you. I'm sorry, I know my arm's in the way. I just, I'm coming around a corner. And I gotta hold it down there. Don't worry if you go off the path, like you're going off the line, nobody's gonna know. When they, when they see this done, they're not gonna, I drew this on here, so they're not going to know what it looks like. And you see where, uh, here I've got a cut line here. I've got a cut line here, so when I cut this, this is just going to fall away. I don't have to worry about going around this corner. So it's going to fall away shortly. I'm coming up to that cut line and it just, it just falls away. And then I think I could start at this foot. Then I'm backing off, I'm making the turn. I'm backing off and spinning the blade on the wood so that it'll make the turn. The turn is too, the degree on that turn is too tight and it can't make it. So I just back it off. Instead of making a, a stop cut, I just back it off and I, uh, and I just, inch my way around the, the, the curve. What was that? It's a drill bit. I must have just fallen off my scroll saw. backing off again, giving it some slack, giving it room to turn, and then going back in. I don't like making a whole bunch of stop cuts. I just find it a pain in the ass, and then you're, they're kind of squarish. They're not round. And like I said, I'm not worried about following the lines or anything. It's like, I just drew this, so there's no rules. 
there's no like oh my god it's not perfect or it's not the same as the other ones or whatever So you shut it off. I hope I wasn't yelling at you guys. I had my uh, I had my um, headphones on, and I'm just yelling over top. So okay, I'm going to. Uh, sorry, I can't read all the comments, but so this is the bunny I cut out on my scroll saw. Now I've got. Now I use this one as a plan. And I might go in and fix this a little bit. I'll cut that, trim that. Yeah. So, I don't know what's with this lighting. But you can see it's cedar. And he turned out really cute. And like I said, I'm going to put some plaster on him. Um, I'm going to put some plaster on him tomorrow. Um, or either tomorrow or tonight. I'm going to have some supper and then I'll decide. And I'm going to put a little bit of um, a stencil and put plaster through the stencil and see what happens. And I'm going to make a little pom-pom. He's going to have a cute little pom-pom, maybe a cute little bow uh, or a flower or something on his ear or a bow. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to put a face on him. Um, he's just going to be a little, a little shelf sitter. Try saying that 10 times fast. Yeah, and I hope you enjoyed this. So adorable. Thank you. So cute. Yay. And I hope you guys give this stuff a try. I hope I hope you have access to a scroll saw. And you give it a try. Thanks for the hearts and the love. Love that. Um, let me scroll through and see. Pretty. The cookies are pretty. I know, right? Those cookies are going to be... Can't wait to see it done. Looks awesome. Love it. Hey, watching. Uh, thank you for the tip. I'm still trying to master my scroll saw. Tammy, you got to get out. The only thing you got to do is use it. Like seriously, if you want to get good at anything, you got to let go of the perfection, let go of the fear, let go of the thoughts in your head and just do it. I, I'm doing so many projects every day that I don't even know what I'm doing. Like I literally... Like, I literally, Creatively Stacy, check her out. She's a really good artist. She literally shouted me out an hour ago on her, on her, she was doing some flowers, and it looks so cute. I'm going to copy you, Stacy. It was on a yellow board, and it was a long flower, and I haven't done a long flower like that since last summer, so I definitely want to do that. And she was saying, oh, Sandy at the lumber mill is going to show me how to use my scroll saw. So I thought, you know what? I am going to show her. Actually, I'm going to show her right now. So I got my scroll saw out, and it's on wheels. It was in the shop, but I don't have live internet in there. I can't, I don't have any connection. So scrolled it out and did it, and yeah, just use it. And then Denise says, hi, thanks for coming, Denise. And the mask is a new fad. I know, right? And everyone says, hey, girl. Okay, love you. Love you, bye.